Frankie de Jong could be an absolutely transformative signing for Manchester United. I genuinely think it's one of the best single transfers that we could do this summer. But I do have a problem with the idea of Frankie de Jong coming to Manchester United. If he doesn't want to play for the club, then I don't want us to waste any time going after him. And I'll explain that in full in this video. As for me, it, in my opinion, it's one of the most significant and important changes that we have to do to make this summer transfer window a success is switch that mentality to only signing players who truly want to play for Manchester United. I'll explain it all in this video. If by the end of it you do enjoy it, ladies and gents, come on, join the community. Not our people's TV growing right now. Great to have you on board. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, get involved. Look, but I will start by saying this. I stand by the fact that I think Frankie de Jong could be an absolutely magnificent signing for Manchester United. He's a sort of um, Neil on the podcast this week. He, he compared him to Michael Carrick, and it is that type of player, isn't he? That player who can sit in front of the back four, somebody who you can just rely on to pass the ball to take pressure away from you because he'll have the possession. But Frankie de Jong, right? When the rumours first came around, people, some fans were like, mm, here we go again. It's just one of those players who's getting linked to United and the move's not really going to happen. But because of Barcelona's financial situation, if you watch my podcast with Graham Hunter, he went into that in real detail. They need to sell this summer. They can't even register the likes of Frank Kessie or Christensen from Chelsea because they need to sell. That will happen. But lots of what we're seeing about the reports about the De Jong situation, it's stuff like this from Fabrizio Romano saying that Frankie De Jong has Champions League football as his main priority for his future. He'd be happy to stay and Xavi wants him at Barcelona. And we go over to Gerard Romero who has been leading with the stories on De Jong. And he said Frankie has said he does not want to leave. But Eric Ten Hag is calling him every day. He wants him at Manchester United. Barcelona and United are in talks. And then he went a little bit step further and he's talking about, as I said, the, the, the financial situation. That's always the caveat with anything that any anybody linked to Barcelona talks about when it comes to Frankie de Jong right now is the fact that hmm, he wants to stay. He's happy, but Barca needs to sell. I said it on the live stream this morning. I stand by the fact that I think it's like 90 percent plus more likely that de Jong joins United if he wants to join United. But that is it. I've, look, this is why I'm happy United and Eric Ten Hag has started working early this summer because this De Jong situation is the perfect example. I want Manchester United to sign De Jong. I would love, I think Ten Hag would love United to sign De Jong. But if he does not want to sign for the club, I don't want us to be begging to sign him. It's as simple as that. I would go as far as to say I wouldn't beg Kylian Mbappe to, to play for Manchester United. I probably would beg a little bit. But... I don't want United to sign any players this summer who simply don't want to play for the club. And there are a couple of obvious examples that I'm going to mention here, but I want to explain exactly why I think it's so crucial. If United are really going to do it right this summer, why this is such a fundamental part of it. I don't want us to beg for De Jong. If De Jong wants to join, wants to be part of this project, wants to become one of the generals under Eric Ten Hag, wants to become one of his main men, then the offer will be there. Eric Ten Hag would love him there. United fans would welcome him with open arms. But we are not going to beg. I hope we're not going to beg. Obviously, the worst example of that is definitely going to be Angel Di Maria. The only reason he joined Manchester United instead of PSG that summer was, of course, because of FFP rules. What happened? He was pissed off as soon as he arrived, basically. Scored a wonderful goal against Leicester. Van Hal, don't think he used him particularly well. I'm not sure Van Hal even really wanted him. He left the year after. End of story. Horrendous transfer. Only reason he joined United is because he couldn't join PSG. He did not want to join Manchester United and it blew up in our face. And probably I would consider the worst signing we've made post Fergie was Alexis Sanchez. Uh, the only reason he joined us instead of City was because of the money. Pure and utter mercenary signing. And as soon as he arrived at United, as soon as he signed that contract, his feet went up. He was sitting on the lazy boy with a beer in hand. He didn't care about playing for the club. He didn't care about United. He did not care one iota. And both of those signings are two perfect examples of, of ways that Manchester United simply have gone into the summer transfer market wrong. With the wrong priorities leading their decision-making process. And there's something in particular that Eric Ten Hag has said in the interviews over the last couple of days that sort of stuck in my mind. And this was it. This is him in one of the interviews. He explained here. He said, "I had choices to work at different at a different club than Manchester United with a better foundation, but I chose 
Manchester United. Things have to get addressed there and that's a challenge. The club and me are on the same wavelength about how I want to do this. And for me, that's such a significant reason as to why I think Eric Ten Hag is going to be successful and why I'm so excited about Eric Ten Hag. He actually chose United. He could have gone somewhere else that probably had the foundations for quicker success. But the fact that he chose the club, he has the same ambitions of the club. The fact that there's a bit of synergy there, that will mean that he will probably be a better manager for United than somebody who just came in for the money. So while I do think that, uh, that seriously, Frankie de Jong would be an incredible signing. I think Neil's right. He would be a Carrick type player, the exact type player we need. Somebody who could sit in front of the back four and actually receive the ball from defenders, release the pressure, but also maintain possession. It's a big part of football, man. You don't have to just go from front to back or back to front really, really quickly. You can sometimes slow the game down with possession. And United simply have not been able to do that for a long, long time. And this man here, he's done it at Barcelona. He's schooled in the Ajax way. He could very much change and transform our midfield if we signed him. But as Fabrizio says here, if his priority really is the Champions League, as Gerard Romero says here, if he doesn't want to leave Barcelona, then I don't want Manchester United to go after him. I would be, I would be far happier for United to miss out on Frankie de Jong than to sign Frankie de Jong if he simply didn't want to be here. Now, of course... It will probably take some convincing to bring it. I'm not here saying, look, just put the phone down immediately, Eric, if he doesn't want to join. Obviously, sell the project. I want Eric Ten Hag to speak to him, to explain to him, say, look, we might not have Champions League football for one year, but you're going to be playing in the Premier League. You'll be playing for the biggest club in England. You'll be playing in my team again. I want you. If he can sell the project and he buys into it straight away, fantastic news. And I would absolutely stand by that signing. But I don't want to see United begging De Jong waiting and delaying this summer and just and not going after other targets because we're just going to wait and see if Frankie de Jong wants to play for United. It's something that we've done before. It's something that I think has stung us so much. And as I said, the two big examples I've got are Angel Di Maria and Alexis Sanchez. But you can definitely draw up more examples if you wanted to. But let's not get depressed here. It's Tuesday. Let's enjoy it. As Eric Ten Hag explained, he chose the club. I want Frankie de Jong, if he comes to United, to choose to play for United. Not simply because Barcelona need to sell him. And that's it. That's the only reason he's joining United. He's got no ambition to join the club. He's got no ambition to actually be part of this Eric Ten Hag new team. I feel quite strongly about this. Because I think if United don't address this sort of um, wrong... It should, it should have nothing to do... Sorry, it, it should have everything to do with signing players. You're talking about signing the right players the profiles of the players, this has to be, for me, a fundamental part of the profile. Because you can have the most wonderful footballer in the world, an incredible midfield magician. But simply put, if he doesn't want to play for your club, he will not commit himself to the club. He won't commit himself to the training. He won't commit himself to the project. And he'll have one foot out of the door before he's even got one foot in the door. That's just the wrong way for United to go about it this summer. That's why there's so many different facets to United getting the signings right this summer. But for me, it has to be about wanting to play for the club. You can, I, I try not to hark back to the Fergie days, but back in the day, United, like, it was a rhetorical question. Roy Keane said it quite a lot of times as well. I remember that. He's like, what do you mean? Do you want to play for Manchester United? Everybody wanted to play for Manchester United. Obviously, that's not the case anymore. But we have to make sure that the players that are in the club they want to play for Manchester United. Pogba didn't want to sign that new deal and commit himself to the club. See you later. Cavani, that's different. He was going to be leaving anyway. Mata Matic and Lingard, again, a little bit different. But any other player at the club, I don't care who they are, how good they are. They don't want to play for United. I don't want them to play for United. It's sim it's, it's, it sounds relatively simple when you say it like that. And I actually think it is quite simple. It should be one of the first things that's asked to any player about looking at the stats and, and your XGs and, and your pass completions and X, Y, Z. If the player wants to play for United, then we'll have a conversation. But don't expect the club to be begging Frankie de Jong to put that shirt on. That's the wrong way to go about it. I would love for us to signing. As I said, I stand by the fact that he would be a transformative signing. And I hope after the initial conversations with Eric Ten Hag that he goes, you know what? I do want to be part of that product. I do want to be part of an Eric Ten Hag team. And I do want to play for Manchester United. And that would be great news. I think it would be brilliant. But I don't want to see United repeat the mistakes that we made with the likes of Di Maria, with the likes of Alexis Sanchez, and with the likes of anybody else that we could be after this summer. 
If they don't want to play for the club, I don't want them to sign for the club. We have to be firm on that. If we don't get, if we aren't firm on that, I think we'll sign the wrong players again this summer. I feel quite strongly about it. You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. As I said, I'd be willing for United to miss out on Frankie de Jong, on Yuri and Timber, on Christopher and Kunku, on anybody that didn't want to actually play for the club. It's about time we stop making those sorts of signings because it's been a big part of why we've been so bad in the transfer market for the last eight, nine years. That's what I think anyway. You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Let me know what you think about Frankie de Jong.